everybody welcome back to the salt water today i have stepped down from the pier and i am fishing from the surf today i'm going to be jigging for speckled trout puppy drum if i'm lucky maybe i'll see a striper i'm doing a solo mission i have to catch something i can eat so i'm going to do right now i'm going to work the shoreline and then i'm going to get to my final destination way that way which is actually an inlet and that's where i'm going to be doing most of my targeting for these species but anyway i'm going to show you all the rigs i'm going to head down there and let's start smacking some fish I had a bite. I had a bite. I don't know what it was. I had a bite. All right, guys, real simple setup on one rod. I have just a swim body running braid with a little bit of mono on top just to keep it more lower profile. But anyway, that's rod number one. Rod number two, classic popping cork. Got that going on, dropping that all the way down to a shrimp. And that is what we're going to be running. We're going to be running both of those. Don't have mirror lures today, but we're just using soft plastics. And we're going to smack the fish in the lips. This, this is a horseshoe crab. I think a band-aid and some super glue get them back to normal. Ah! All right, we've moved a little bit further down the beach and I found a spot I can see with my polarized glasses that there's kind of like a, a hole, which is a good area to fish. So I'm gonna throw the lure in there real quick, see if I can get something. Guess how many fish I just pulled out of that hole? Zero. Moving on. Well, I found some structure I'm about to fish. I'm changing this out for one of the Z-Man scented curly tails. Give that a go, it looks good. <laughs> shut up, just, just shut up. I still have high hopes for today, just shut up. Continuing the journey, moving on. We're right up near the inlet. There's also a jetty, so you know I gotta throw a couple Couple casts. I'm not gonna climb up there. We're not gonna get super sketchy today. Solo mission. If I fall, I'm just gonna be out there. I'll be bird food or crab food or whatever you wanna call it. <sighs> Watch this. This is gonna be first, first cast over here at the jetty. Mother. Gotta go. Just got word from a fellow fisherman out here that the fish are right on the other side. If I can get my book bag on. Why am I holding this in front of me like that? Jeez, okay. All right, come on. Let's go. Let's go, 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 let's go. All right, y'all know I wasn't really trying over there on the on the surf. You know, I'm gonna show y'all the real skills now. And here we are. Oh, it's nice and low. Well, obviously, Zach, but it's nice and low. I can walk on the sand. Yes. How is this a smaller one, guys? That's a good fish. That is a really nice fish. What's your name? My name is Ryan. Ryan? So Ryan's the, the guy that I saw further down on the other side of the trees. He was kind enough to come around the other side of the jetty to tell me that there's fish here. And there's clearly fish here. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, getting fish. There it is. Ooh, I thought I was about to drill. Look at that fish. Oh, man. Dude, that's probably my PB right there. That is a pretty ass fish. Look at the teeth on that thing. He's on over there right beside me too. We'll call that a double up. <laughs> citation, citation what? Oh, damn, really? Look at him just thrashing out there. Oh, there goes some shrimp. Yeah. God, I gotta get that roller bearing fixed. Oh, buddy. Jeez. Dang, my guy, you took that thing down 
real deep. Uh -oh, I might have an eater here. I might just because he got, he got hooked real deep. All right, we're gonna put you in the pile to be to be eaten. Well, what is this? This is not the target species. That one. <laughs> just, I think he just grew up a little bit. He's staying down. Come on over there, buddy. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Goodness gracious. That's in the 20s, right? Pushing 20, you're pushing 20. All right, you're getting there, you're getting there. Goodness gracious, guys, look how fat that thing is. Yeah, it's good to see how healthy they are. Oh, gosh. All right, go that way. Go. Thank you. <laughs> yep. That's more you what I'm used to right there. That's what I'm used to. Feisty <laughs> one, huh? Oh, there's a little bit of weight there. Me and a bad one. What? Not what we're after. Not a bad size. It's a good day when you call that a dink. All right, man. All right, Fun fishing. Yeah, appreciate it. It was a good time. Check out my YouTube channel. I'm gonna let my kids check it out. They're all about fishing, so it's gonna be really cool. Hell yeah, guys. All right. Well, guys, it's solo mission again. I'm by myself, and I, me and him, we were just smacking the trout. I mean, gosh, like we were pulling them right and left. We were doubling up. Got some 20 inches, over 20 inches. I ended up putting that one back uh, just because he was actually flopping around a lot. So he seemed really lively. Put him in the water and he took off. So that's good. So I don't have anything that I've kept yet. I am gonna keep some so I can have something to eat. I'm gonna wait a little bit later in the day to start keeping them because I don't want the meat to spoil. We'll make a stringer, you know. Anyway, the fishing is hot. I'm getting back out there. I'm gonna start throwing the popcorn cork right now and we're gonna get them. All right, watch this, first cast. Pop and cork. Do the thing. Pop. Pop. Give it a pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. No, I'm just kidding. I, I really don't do it that much, but just, you know, every once in a while I'll give it a little pop. And it's awesome because right now, sometimes I'll see my line and my line will hit a bunch of shrimp and they'll scatter. So, I mean, we're really matching the hatch here. They're feeding on shrimp. It's obvious I got a fake shrimp on underneath the popping cork. Can't beat it. Oh, there he is. Oh, he smoked it. Oh, little guy. He smoked it. Come here. Oh yeah, there's a shrimp. Look at him, guys. First cast. See, y'all didn't believe in me. Y'all saw me fishing the beach like this. Dude is not gonna catch nothing. Well, I've been catching some. All right, little guy. Ooh. Gonna keep it real with y'all. I really am very inexperienced with the popping cork. But I will tell y'all how I am doing it and feel free to tell me what I am doing right and wrong. Pretty much all I'm doing is casting it out, keeping the line tight every now and then, giving it a little pop. What happens is the metal beads, they snap together and it almost makes like a clicking sound under the water, kind of like a shrimp smacking its tail like when they're swimming. So that attracts the fish. I see the cork, I guess you'll call it, go under and I'm setting the hook on them. But no, I mean, this is real fun. I'm not gonna lie though, I might actually enjoy the jig head and the swim bodies a little bit better. But don't get me wrong, this is 
This is awesome. I guess anything's awesome when all the fish are biting like this. Ooh. No! No! Oh, gotta be faster than that. Now with this, the jig head, the swim body, the Z-Man, whatever you, curly tail, penny, flipper. All I'm doing with this is I'm just casting it out, waiting for it to get too close to the bottom, just kind of working it off the bottom. Oh, let me show you all what I did while I was fishing with him. So I high sticked one of the bigger trouts and I lost the tip of my rod. That's, that's some, uh, some Guggen stuff. Let me tell you. All right. Yes, I know I've still yet to get my reel fixed and it makes a grinding noise but that's custom, that's how we want it. It makes the makes vibrations go down the braided line, which attracts the fish. So take that, it's just doing the fish call, that grinding fish call. That's what they want, so that's what they're gonna get. All right, well, it's been about 15 minutes over there. Nothing's going on over there, so back to this part. This is the honey hole, guys. Oh, that one didn't feel too bad. Oh, he's a little dinker. He's a little guy. He's just a little buddy. Well, don't worry, buddy. We're not going to eat you. We're going to let you go. Go back. Oh, another one. There we go. Oh, oh no, it's turned into Dinkville. I mean, that's not a dink by any means, but for what we were catching, that is a little guy. Man, I'm going to regret not keeping those big ones. God, so pretty. Get your ass back in there. All this trout action is wearing me out. Let's see if I got a what? Yes, sir. Short intermission. Gotta get my hydration right. Got a couple hours left of sunlight and have not kept a fish yet, so gotta get some meat. All right, break time's over, bitch. Only have good things to say about the Z, man. Same one. I haven't had to change it out. The tail's been staying on there. Very happy with this here artificial. Back to the action. Mm. Oh. A little one or a big one? He's not fighting too. Oh, and we got another Dinkerton. Oh, buddy. Go tell your grandpappy that I'm here and I'm ready for him. Oh, yeah. He hit right at the shoreline. Oh, little guy. Ah, we meet again. Oh, this is, we didn't meet again. This is a different species for the day. This is a gray trout. He inhaled it. I'd take a big gray trout. These only got to be 12 inches, but I'm not gonna, we're gonna let him go. Oh, oh, damn. Boy, broken rod game is on point today with the dink. The people are getting tired of seeing the cookie cutter speckled trouts. Oh my goodness. Shit. All right, y'all didn't see that. He's good. Jeez, what was that, Butterfingers? Trying to figure out some pattern on the bite, but they're hitting close to shore. They're hitting way out there. I just think that they're just healthy right now. I don't believe I spent all that money on all those different types of swim bodies, and I've used the same one the whole time. I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Oh, oh, he had it. He had it. And I'm talking, not setting hooks. Oh, he had it again. What are you doing? Concentrate. Jeez. Amateur ass fisherman. Oh, wait, what the hell? Oh. Oh, I'd say that you wanted that, didn't you? All right. Really starting to regret throwing those big ones back. Jeez. That one hit out a little bit deeper. Talk about a freight train. This one's a good one. This is a good one. Are you foul hooked? Uh oh, am I gonna get my eater back? Oh man, that's a good fish. He is, oh my gosh. Play him, really? It's not even that big. Oh, he's kind of big. He's kind of big. There we go. Hell yes. Hell yes. All right, guys, I did it. I'm keeping this one. I also kind of hooked him a little deep, so it's a good one to keep because he's probably not going to do too well. But I got him. This is a decent, not the biggest one of the day. I mean, I'll tell you what, that's a sandwich, maybe two sandwiches. God, look how pretty that thing is. All right, I got to rig up a stringer, get back out there, and try to catch some more. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Uh 
Oh, back to back monsters. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, he's. Oh my goodness! Get on land. Oh my gosh, that thing is a tank. All right, I gotta, I gotta get him off the hook. I gotta show y'all this one. Jeez. Oh. I mean, yeah, I understand that this might not be classified as a gator, but damn, this is my PB. Or maybe the other one was a PB, but this is a big trout. That's, that's a couple more sandwiches. That is a couple more sandwiches. I missed the, I missed the hook set. I missed the hook set on this one, but goodness gracious. Oh my God, this is, this is a PB. This is a PB. This is another PB. Come on, come on up here. Come on up here. Don't horse him. Don't you horse him, Zach. Don't you get too excited. Oh my gosh. He is holding bottom. He's got some weight to him. Wouldn't be surprising with the drum. Oh man, that is a, oh, come back here. Oh, okay. Maybe not as big as I thought, but God, that's a nice fish. Oh, that is a nice fish. That is a nice fish. Huh. Did I say it was a nice fish? It's a nice fish. Oh my, he didn't need, look, he got hooked on the outside. He went for it. Man, that is a chunky monkey. I already got him breaded and everything. Guys, this day is epic. I was really hoping that I would catch a keeper drum, but I mean, I am not gonna complain. Not one bit. By far the best speckled trout. Oh my gosh, fishing I've ever had. I'm at loss for words. These things are just monsters. Oh my gosh. Dude, they are just so plentiful and they're all healthy looking. They're all like fat and oh my gosh. Even the little ones got little bellies on them, little Buddha bellies. Yes, I understand that I do a lot of bait fishing on my channel but i'm telling you something about this lure stuff man it just it's a whole different type of rush especially when the fish are around but golly I'm telling you what man i think i'm addicted to trout fishing and i think i will be a avid user of the z-man tell you oh my gosh this got hit again These things are relentless <laughs> Oh, it's coming up. There it goes. This is this is just too much. There we go. There's something that I'm used to. Still a keeper trout, but that is... All right, let me just real quick show you size comparison here. All right, this is the one I just caught compared to the bigger ones that I've caught. It is a baby. Let the baby go. Here goes a full start to finish cast. So y'all can see this in real time about how crazy this is with these trout. Oh my gosh. Really? For real? I couldn't even ask for a better bite on that. It didn't even drop down to the bottom yet. Oh, he's swimming at me. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, goodness. You're a hungry little fella, huh? Oh my gosh, guys. Solo mission. I wish somebody was here to see how I could smile or how I'm smiling right now. All right, guys, I missed the hook set on one of them. I'll bring them in, but I need to clean them off. Get them in the water to preserve them because I didn't haul a, uh, what are they called? A cooler down here. But I got one more fish to go. They're all well above 14 inches, so they're all legal. One more fish to go, and then I'm going to get my limit for the day. <laughs> could that, oh, no, he's a little guy. Oh, he's a little thrash. Oh, he isn't that little. He isn't that little. <sighs> We're not going to keep this one. I want the big one, number five, to be a big one. We'll let you go, buddy. A little discombobulated. There he goes. Played off, man. Nothing happened. You didn't just get caught by the Asian. I mean, geez, a couple hours ago, I was worried about catching a fish. Now I'm trying to see if I can limit out. What a day. What a day. <laughs> oh goodness gracious oh he's not bad probably another one i'll return to the water he's a little guy tell you what guys that z-man is just oh there goes my feet oh i'm wet <gasps> anyway what was i saying oh yeah the z-man's great blah 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 get back in the water <laughs> that might be number five guys that might be number five. Oh yeah she's number five if it's a trout oh that's a big trout that's a good trout oh. all right buddy come on all right you're gonna be my ticket home yes sir quality fish guys look at that these things are absolute monsters 
that's just about it for this trip on the solo mission that ended up being a success it started off really slow got to fish with a new friend and uh, i mean oh god just an epic day an epic day i'm gonna have a little bit of cleaning to do and i'm going to eat these right away gosh i don't even know how many i caught today but it was it was a lot anyway i hope you like the video like comment and subscribe i'm gonna clean these fish off i don't like them when they got the dirt on them i know it doesn't matter but they just don't look pretty thanks for tuning in i'm gonna sit back and relax enjoy the sunset and carry my ass back to richmond all right guys look at those fish